three things you are to do every time you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. And allow me to talk about why you are waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. before I give you those three things that you are to do every time you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. And that is because I believe the more you know, the more you function. The less you know, the less you function. You are waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. not by mistake. It has crossed the line of the natural. You're not waking up because you want to go to the restroom or you want to go to the loo, you want to release yourself or anything like that. Stop being logical over spiritual things. It is because you are chosen. Yes, you are waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. because you are chosen. One needs to understand that we have eight prayer watches. I believe every believer knows that in a 24-hour day. Four for the day, four for the night. And the watch between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. is known as the last watch of the night. It's also known as the last lap, the last race, or the early morning watch. And of course, watchmen during that watch are known as the chosen ones. And that is because in the spirit, this hour, this watch is known as the hour of visitation. Not just any visitation, but divine visitation, supernatural encounters. It is during this hour that people will have divine revelations. It is also believed that when Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord, it was between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. As you hear the angel in Genesis chapter 32 verse 24 saying, let me go because the day is about to break. So he had an encounter that changed not only his life, but changed the lives of his children and an entire generation because of an encounter that he had in a certain watch. And this is the watch that we are talking about today. When Jesus walked on the water, it is believed that it was between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. I can go on and on and on and on, but let's move forward. This hour between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. is also known as the hour of blessing, the hour of blessing. It's time to rise and shine according to Isaiah 60 verses 1. This hour, only the chosen will be woken up. And that is because it is also known as the darkest hour of the day. Let me say that again. The darkest hour of the day. And the enemy loves operating under the cover of darkness. So this is where Satan will release his hosts, will release uh, his strategies to hijack the day. And only the chosen can be able to fight against that. Not only for themselves, but also for their families, for those that are connected to them. I think let me just go deeper and flow in this and please pay attention. So, as a watchman, it is very important for you to do your duties. Meaning, it is important for you to make sure that what God has put in you is done accordingly. And that is the assignment that God has put in you. Remember, God does not attach his assignment to your flesh, to your mind, but to your spirit. Right? Hence, you are waking up is because your spirit knows who you are in God. Your mind might not know, but your spirit knows who you are. So you are waking up at that time because you are on duty, watchman. And what happens when the watchman watches but doesn't do anything? Let's read the Bible. I wanted to quote, but this one I want us to read it. The book of Ezekiel chapter 33 verses uh, 6. This is King James. Let me try and see what NLT will say because my Bible there is King James 1611 approved. Let's see what NLT 
will say to us. NLT reads, but if the watchman sees the enemy coming and doesn't sound the alarm, the trumpet, to warn the people, he is responsible for their captivity. The Bible then continues to say, they will die in their sins, but I will hold the watchman responsible for their deaths. Pay attention now. It's not the wise men who killed them, murdered them. But God is not holding the enemy responsible, but the watchman. That tells you that the watchman is a gatekeeper. The watchman's responsibility is bigger than what we think. That if lives are lost, God will come back and look for the watchman and hold the watchman responsible. Some of you don't understand that your inability to watch will cause destruction, not only in your life, but also in the lives of those that are connected to you. And some of you are called to watch over a generation. That the whole generation will begin to walk in the light of God because of you. Will begin to walk in truth because of you. Hence, it is important for you to take what we are talking about serious. Especially if you know, no jokes around it, you always wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. and you did not know why. The answer is simple. You are chosen and you are a watch man. Now, the first thing that you need to do every time you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., number one, the first thing, the very first thing that you need to do is to try and remember your last dream before waking up. Why your dream is because God speaks through dreams. And once you remember your dream, you will then know what to pray for. Because the mistake that chosen people, watchmen make, is to put prayer above the voice of God. And they end up praying in vain. And they end up shooting in blanks. But if you pray, yet you know what God is saying you should pray for, then you are praying from the victory point. And I believe it is important for you to hear me and hear me very well. So, you need to remember your last dream. Why, Apostle? Job 33 verses 14 and 15, or even quote 16, says, God speaks once, yet twice, but men perceiveth it not. Verse 15 says, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men. Verse 16, then God says, then it says, he opens, who? God opens the ears of men and seal their instruction for the day. Meaning every time one wakes up from a dream, one wakes up from their sleep, they already have the instruction of the day. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? They already have instructions of the day. Hence, it is important for you not to ignore your dreams. It is important for you not to take for granted your dreams because God speaks through dreams. So the moment you remember your dream, I know that there are people who are saying, but I, I don't understand my dreams. That's because dreams are symbolic. Not every dream is clear. Some dreams are spiritual dreams. Some dreams are spiritual visions. Some dreams are prophetic dreams as much as we have new opinion kind of dreams right so not every dream will be clear as to this is what you need to do from here to here but then you need to perceive you need that's what the bible says god speaks once yet twice but men perceiveth it not the word perceiveth it not there is the word unable to interpret what god is saying hence you need to study the meaning of spiritual dreams so that at the end of the day you yourself know exactly what a dream that involves animals, lions, colors, numbers mean so that you are not somebody who's everywhere but not anywhere because God is talking to you but you need to be able to decode that which was encoded into your spirit. 
So the first thing you remember 